Hello, my name is Magdi Ayan and today I am recording a video for the KHS Chemist channel and this is a tutorial for electrophilic addition. Now, electrophilic addition is the addition of either a diatomic halogen, for example, chlorine, bromine, well, all halogens are diatomic, or, or a hydrogen halide, for example, hydrogen bromine, bromide, hydrogen iodide, or hydrogen chloride. Now, an electrophile is basically an atom or an ion that is attracted to a negative center. For example, a, a hydrogen ion, which is positive, being attracted to an electron or a, or a negative chlorine. That would, be, that would make the hydrogen ion an electrophile. Now to get on with the tutorial. Now what happens in electrophilic addition is that a pair of electrons moves from this carbon-carbon double bond because one of the bonds breaks. So a pair of electrons moves, a pair of electrons move to this bromine. Now I use a double-pronged arrow because a single-pronged arrow shows the movement of one electron. However, I want to show movement of two, so I use two prongs. Now, because the electrons have moved between, have moved to this bromine, the electrons that were in this bond, denoted by the cross and dot, are moved to this bromine. Again, a pair of electrons moving. Now, as a result of this bromine losing, losing the influence of the, double, of the bond, then becomes slightly positive. And because this has gained more influence from the electron bond, so therefore technically gained an electron it, it didn't have before, then that means it becomes delta negative, which means partially negative, that becomes partially positive. Now what happens next is that you get a new molecule. Two hydrogens over from here, and then a bromine is added. Because that was the bromine that was there, a bond has formed between this carbon and this bromine. And the two hydrogens are left here. Now, of course, there can't be a double bond here because that would give this carbon five bonds, and there's an electron missing because that has been given to this bromine as a result of this electron pair movement. So, this becomes a carbon cation, i.e., a carbon that has one, one too few electrons. It needs an electron. However, and also, however, left from this is a bromine with a negative sign because it has gained an electron from this movement. Now, as a result of it, negative, negative ion, positive ion, of course, they attract. So, electrons move here. Well, yeah, electrons move here to this carbon, which forms a new bond. It becomes a dibromoethane. Dibroma, two bromines here, and ethane, the two H's, the, the hydrogens, that were on the atom, that were on the molecule previously, from here. This makes dibromoethane, and that is basically the process of electrophilic addition. Please like, subscribe, favorite, and please watch our videos again. Thank you.